Hi everyone, we are going to play another game of how do you live on this. Basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, you're going to pretend that all you have left to eat in the house is four cans of tuna and a pack of hot dogs. So there are eight hot dogs in that pack. And you have $10 in cash. And you are going to basically use this as a base for everything that you are going to eat for one week. The only other things you have besides this are very basic pantry staples like oil and vinegar and herbs and spices. Okay, so there's not really much in there. So you're not gonna say that you have rice or oatmeal or stuff like that in the pantry this time. Okay, just very basic stuff. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about what I would buy and what I would make. And I'm going to give you the cost breakdown here. Now, I would like to first quickly thank Peggy and Rodney for their most recent PayPal contribution. They've been my followers for quite some time and I really appreciate your support, Peggy and Rodney. Thank you very much. Okay, before we move on, I want to address a couple of comments I've gotten over time since I've been doing this type of video. So a couple of comments, like some people got really insulted and they say, why are you calling this a game? This is so, how some people really live. You shouldn't be making light of it and stuff like that. And I don't really know why people would really get that idea. This basically, the point of this game is to make it interactive for people who maybe have less resources or just really kind of want to know maybe how to stretch their dollar a little bit, stuff like that. We're sharing ideas here and we're living in really tough times. So, you know, some of us have to really come up with ideas for how to make money spread to eat. So don't take any offense to it. Okay, there's plenty of offensive things that are on YouTube. You could just go, go looking down that rabbit hole, my friends. You will not be disappointed <laughs> if that's what you're looking for is offensive content. Okay, so let's talk about here what I would buy. Guys, this is going to be very, very limited, but we're going to stretch it, okay? We're going to stretch this. The first thing I would buy here is I'm going to get a 10-pound bag of potatoes. I have five pounds here with me because I'm using one hand to record, and so I had to make this kind of um, doable for me here. So 10 pounds of potatoes, that is going to be what I consider kind of expensive. It's going to be about $5.88 at Walmart. I'm rounding that up to $5.90, okay? So that is the first item, and that's really the largest item, okay? Next, I am going to get a cheapy loaf of bread for about a dollar. So this bread right here was not a dollar loaf of bread, but it's the only loaf of bread I have for an example, okay? And it's most likely not gonna be whole grain. It's very hard to find whole grain bread right now for a dollar. That's what I would get if I could, but it's probably going to be something like white or wheat. I'm going to get a 16 ounce container of great value sour cream. And this right now is about $1.98. We're going to say this is $2. I swear, last year, when I bought this sour cream, it was just over a dollar for 16 ounces. Now it's $2, okay? I, I don't really know how it could have doubled in price, even with the inflation we have. Has anything else you've noticed doubled in price? Because that is one of the big things. Well, besides gas, right? We know what's going on with gas. That's, I think that's almost doubled. Okay. And then we're, we're, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole now talking about gas, are we? Okay. And then we're going to get two cans of sweet peas at 55 cents each. Okay. So we're going to get two cans of these. I have only have one on me, but we're going to say that we have two. Okay. Because these are all examples. All right. So now I'm going to tell you with these four ingredients and some basic pantry staples what I would make. Okay, so that comes to exactly $10 when I round up, round up those pennies. So if you take off the pennies, it might be about uh, $9.96, something like that. So we have spent, let's say, $10 now. What can be made, my friends? Okay, so for breakfast, what we're going to do here is we are going to have either hot dogs and potatoes. So basically fried potatoes and some hot dogs with 
any of the herbs and spices that you have available. So the big ones, sorry about that clanking, the big ones for me would be garlic powder and black pepper. Okay, you want to go light on that garlic powder, okay, if you're going to be around people. But that's what I would do, and of course we have oil in the house, in this pantry hall. I mean, I have olive oil here. Um, olive oil, this type of olive oil is expensive, so we probably, you know, might not be using olive oil to fry in, okay, if, you're, if your budget is really limited. Uh, but some people buy that in bulk. Okay, and then what we do, what we would do is we would see if we have some mustard or ketchup in the pantry. And other days that we're not having fried hot dogs with potatoes, we're going to have a hot dog for breakfast with mustard or ketchup on some bread. Now, you could get a pack of um, like plain white hot dog buns for the same price, but generally you're going to get cheapy bread, the cheapy bread that's a dollar, you're going to get that, you're going to get more pieces of bread out of it and calories than you would out of one pack of hot dog uh, buns, okay? All right, so now let's move on to lunch. Okay, so for lunch I have the idea of a tuna potato salad with peas and also some oil and vinegar. Okay, so I have my cold pressed Fancy olive oil here with some red wine vinegar, plain, plain oil and plain white vinegar is fine. And actually I bought this from Walmart. It's not quite as fancy as you think, but it is, um, it is a good olive oil. Okay, so we're going to do that. And the reason why I focused on getting this big 10 pound bag of potatoes is, let me see if I can see this back here. Let me just show you something here. Let me move these things out of the way. Okay. So, guys, I always talk about nutrition and potatoes. I really hate how potatoes have been vilified over the years. It's absolutely ridiculous, okay? Most bags of potatoes don't have a nutrition label, but I'm going to show you. This one does. Now, one there's one potato in a serving, okay? So you're most likely going to have probably two potatoes per meal. Now we have, let's see here, we have one potato has, I believe that says, it says either six or eight percent of iron. You have about 15 percent of potassium per potato, and you have 30 percent of vitamin C. So if you have two potatoes in one sitting, you're getting 60 percent of vitamin C, and I believe it says vitamin B6. You have 10 percent of vitamin B6 per potato. These things, potatoes, I consider them a nutritional powerhouse, okay? And I encourage, I encourage you to eat them if you don't have any restrictions on your carbohydrates, like, you know, strict restrictions on your carbohydrates. Okay, so that's my <laughs> nutrition talk. Okay, now let's talk about, let's talk about um, some of the herbs and spices that you can use in that tuna potato salad with peas. All right, so this is one of my favorite herbs to use with potatoes is parsley. So whether you cook the potato, like eat them hot or eat them cold, parsley is something that's going to taste really good. You could use dill weed. Anything that you like in potato salad is good. Okay, and the potato, the, the peas are in here. The, the peas, I bought two cans of peas because these are also very nutritious. Normally what I like to do is put something like green onion in potato salad, but for the price that you're paying for green onion, you're getting a lot more calories from the peas and you're still getting a green vegetable. Yes, it's starchy, my friends, but you're still getting a green vegetable and you are still getting some, there's some iron in this, in these peas and there's plenty of fiber and plenty of actually other vitamins and minerals. So the, the cost benefit here is that you're getting more calories from your money and you're still getting a green vegetable. Even though, yes, I prefer fresh vegetables too. But for this budget right here that I put together, it's really, I'm, I'm settling for potatoes for the fresh vegetable and plenty of them, right? Now let's go to dinner. So I have one uh, recipe idea for dinner, just like I did for lunch. And that is, yes, utilizing the potatoes. It is going to be 
And I've, I've made this a number of times. I might put the recipe under the video if you're interested. It's one of my favorite things to eat. It is, first, what you do is you slice potatoes and you kind of like steam, like boil them. So you're not gonna like cover them completely in water. Just put enough water in a pan with sliced potatoes for them to soften and then let, let the rest of the water evaporate away at like a higher temperature, okay. And then you're going to mix in some oil with that. So these aren't like really fried, okay. You're, you are preserving that oil for the end. And then you're going to mix in some peas. Again, we're utilizing these peas. And then you are going to add, you're going to add some salt and some chili powder. Let me tell you, when the oil hits the chili powder, it is so good. So it's, I call it chili potatoes and peas. And it's a wonderful side dish, but here it's going to be a main dish, okay? And you know what's going to make it taste even better with that hot flavor from the chili powder? You're going to top it with sour cream. And you use this entire tub of sour cream in a week. So here it says you've got 15 servings. So you can do two servings of sour cream on your, uh, your chili potatoes and peas each night. So that gives you a quarter cup of sour cream. And that's going to give you a lot of satisfaction from your dinner. Even though you're eating like a lot of carbs for your dinner, this sour cream is going to make it taste like pretty satisfying because you're getting that fatty texture. And the olive oil is going to be in there too. So guys, that is what, sorry, <laughs> that is what I would do with $10 and tuna and hot dogs and just some basic pantry items. So guys, what what do you what would you do really with those things that I just mentioned? Just the tuna and the money and the hot dogs and the pantry items for a week. Talk to me below. All right. See you soon guys.